and welcome to our lesson on solving a quadratic equation by completing the square. So we begin with the equation a squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. And to complete the square, we need it in the form of x plus a squared plus b. We covered this in a previous lesson on quadratic identities. So the value of a in this equation is half of the 6. So we have x plus 3 squared and to work out the value of b we need to consider what happens when we square x plus 3. So we have x plus 3 lots of x plus 3. When we expand these brackets out we get x squared plus the 6x plus the 9 and we have an unwanted 9 term so we need to take this 9 away and this makes this part of the equation equal to this part. So now we need to add the 8, which is here. And this is an equation equal to 0. So now we can simplify this equation. We have x plus 3 squared minus 1 is equal to 0. We can now use the balance method to solve this equation, where we add 1 to both sides. So these will cancel. So we have x plus 3 squared is equal to 1. We do the square root of both sides and these will cancel. So we have x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1. It is plus or minus the square root of 1 because negative 1 squared is equal to 1 as is positive 1 squared. So now we take away the 3. So we have x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 1. And we know the square root of 1 is 1. So we have two solutions. One where x is equal to negative 3 plus 1. And the other where x is equal to negative 3 minus 1. So here we have x is equal to negative 2. And here we have x is equal to negative 4. So these are the two solutions of a quadratic. OK, let's try question B. So for question B, again we're going to work out a value of a, which is this time half of a 2. So we have x plus 1 squared. And when we square x plus 1, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we need to take this one away, which we can do here. So this part is equal to this part. We need to take away 4. And this is equal to 0. So now we have x plus 1 squared minus 5 is equal to 0. We'll add 5 to both sides. We'll take the square root and finally we'll take away the 1 from both sides and these will cancel. So we're left with x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. And leaving it in this form is perfectly acceptable. Do you want to try and solve question C by completing the square? You can pause the video and resume it when you are ready. So to begin with, we're going to find the value of a, which is x plus half of 8, which is 4, and this is squared. When we square x plus 4, we get x squared plus 8x plus 16. So we're going to take away the 16. And we add the 5, and this is equal to 0. We can simplify this equation, and now we can solve it by adding 11 to both sides, taking the square root of both sides, and then taking away 4. So the final solution is x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 11. Okay, for question D, it is slightly more difficult because the number before the x is an odd number. But do you want to try and solve this equation by completing the square? You can pause the video and resume it when you are ready. So we're going to write it in completing the square form. We have x minus half of 3, which I'm going to write as a fraction, 3 over 2 r squared and when we square x minus 3 over 2 we get x squared minus 2x plus 9 over 4 so we need to take away this term to complete the square for this negative 1 I'm going to write it as a fraction of a 4 so we have to take away 4 over 4 and this is equal to 0 so now we have x minus 3 over 2 r squared 
will move needs to be right hand side so near equal to 13 over 4 we'll take square root of both sides and these will cancel so we have x minus 3 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 13 over 4 now the square root of 13 over 4 can be written as the square root of 13 divided by the square root of 4 and we know the square root of 4 is 2 so it can be written as root 13 over 2 and finally we're going to add 3 over 2 to both sides so x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 13 all over 2 okay Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.